Good evening and welcome. At 51, the former Tammy LaValle says she's starting over and couldn't be happier. Now, you know this four foot, 11 inch bundle of energy as Tammy Faye Baker, the colorful former wife of televangelist Jim Baker. At one time, the couple's Praise the Lord Network reached millions of viewers, viewers who readily answered the couple's calls for cash. But after a classic tale of redemption and sin, Jim Baker remains imprisoned on fraud charges in connection with their PTL ministry. And tonight, what happened to Tammy Faye? We first met Tammy and new husband Roe Messner near their home in Palm Springs, California. Then last week, we joined her in Houston, Texas. There, she launched her new TV show, taped at a religious station right next door to the Johnson Space Center. T minus 31 seconds. We have a goal for countdown to take off of the new Tammy Faye show, a hands on production. Good luck, Scott. I'm excited. Good, so are we. We're go for a main entrance start, T minus 15. You think 15. we ought to put the little blue things here? Sort of kitchen it. We should have had some bright yellow curtains put up there or something. Do you think we could take that lamp and put right there? Sure. Okay. 12, now it's, 11, Now it's starting 10. to look like a living room. Or, now I'll go see if I can find some more stuff. There's, there's two of them, aren't there? Am I a decorator or what? <laughs> Lots of stuff makes a television set. The more stuff you can get on it, the better off you are. Six. Start. Why don't we get a couple Three. more pillows? See what other, what other pillows okay. are? Yes, we do. Ouch! <laughs> she may look dainty, but the lady knows what she wants and how to get it, all while having a good time. Yeah! In less than 90 minutes, Tammy Faye redecorates, rehearses, and entertains. I never had a pointer before! <laughs> Two, one... Lord, I just pray that this will be a, a new beginning for many people, not just me, Lord, but may it be a new beginning for me. And lift off. Lift off. It's time for the Tammy Faye Show. The new Tammy Faye Show is 60 minutes of talk, songs, cooking, and prayer. I'm just going to go ahead and do a regular PTL club type format. I'm looking forward to getting back in my niche again. Right now, the Tammy Faye Show is seen only in Houston. But she and Rose say they dream of bigger audiences. Those who know her say she devoted the same kind of energy and drive to her first television career. And now, here are Jim and Tammy! The Jim and Tammy show became the flagship of one of the largest Christian networks in the world. By the late 1980s, PTL programmed 24 hours a day inside a Christian theme park in North Carolina. At one time, Heritage USA was the third largest tourist attraction in the country. Hello, everyone. I like them down here. We can reach out and touch them. That's oh, nice. Please be seated. We've got a With few her Take Me As I Am style, and, uh, definitive they, makeup, and done, outrageous uh, wardrobe, days, viewers tuned in well, just to see what Tammy Faye would do next. Together, Jim and Tammy made religious television fun and viewers responded with donations that kept the couple's ministry and theme park humming. But in the late 80s, the light on the seemingly blessed couple began to fade. Jim Baker will say what he has to say, and, and um, you know, I know what, what happened. You were paying yourself bonuses. You were paying no. Tammy Faye bonuses. But when all was, was said and done, Jim Baker was found guilty. Press accounts of Jim's sexual wanderings and overspending started a long slide that left him convicted of fraud and conspiracy. Tammy was never charged nor convicted of any wrongdoing. What are you going to say to those people who see your new show and who are going to be somewhat reticent? Um, are you not going to ask for money? No, no, uh -uh, because it's, no, I'm not asking for money as far as I know. As far as I know, I will not be. How do you want people to accept you? What do you want to tell those people who were concerned about PTL and and, and are just worried about well, you going back I on the like air. The thing I would like to say is that you watched us for 30 years and you looked into these blue eyes for 30 years and, and uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I just damn who I am. What there is is all you get. There isn't any more. You know, during the entire PTL controversy, when you look back on it now, it was very hard on you. How did you get through? Well, you know, people don't want to, they want some big explanation as to how I got through. But I, it was one word, God. And I found out that the God that I preached and sang about 
and told other people would work for them, I found out he worked for me too. When and where was your saddest moment? Saddest moment was when PTL fell apart. That was the, the very saddest moment. I was, I was sad for the partners. I was sad. I was sad for everybody concerned. I was sad for my children. I, was, I think it was the saddest moment of my life and probably always will be the saddest moment of my life because I felt like so many people were disappointed and I don't like to disappoint anyone. I and if the crumbling of PTL sparked controversy, the breakup of her marriage fueled the critics' fires even more. Tammy stood by her man through the scandal and trial. But in 1992, she divorced Jim. And last year, she married Roe Messner, a worldwide builder of churches. The 58-year-old had been a close friend of Tammy and Jim Baker. In fact, Roe Messner helped build Heritage USA. The Cathedral of the Holy Spirit in Atlanta is one of his creations. Where and when have you been your happiest? I'm my happiest right now that I've ever been in my whole life. Because? Because I've, 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 I'm desperately in love. <laughs> I'm starting life over again. I've been given a second chance for which I will always be grateful to God. You know, I always preach that God was the God of second chances, but I didn't even know I would need a second chance. And I really thank God for sending Ro into my life and, and giving me a second chance. The couple acts like they're still on their honeymoon. Ro beamed watching Tammy's taping and hurried to help out during the break between shows. But Tammy says she heard accusations of betrayal when she decided to remarry. What do you say to people who raise that question the when only, both of you are so happy and so in love? The only thing I say to people like that is God hates divorce, but he loves the divorced person. And, and whether people consider it a mistake or whatever, that they want to consider it. I had a psychiatrist one time, and I was, I was sobbing and crying to her over the same thing, asking her, what should I do? And she said, Tammy, it's between you and God. You quit apologizing. You quit apologizing. When you and your first husband were yes. divorced, I think that was hard on you, but it was equally as hard on the PTL partners. I think it was. That makes me very sad that I didn't mean to hurt the PTL partners by doing it. I think the PTL partners felt like uh, uh, that there would be another PTL someday. And I think they felt that with, with both of us together that we could go back and do it again. I just, uh, I couldn't do it again. I didn't have the strength and didn't have the whatever it took to, to, to spend building again. Have you and Roe heard from Jim he could possibly be released from jail in 1995? I heard that he's getting out at Christmas. This Christmas is what I heard. And I will be so glad when Jim gets out of prison because we will all be free then. Until Jim gets out of prison, we're still all in prison. And you haven't heard from him personally? Well, we don't contact each other except through the children. What is your biggest fear? My biggest fear probably is, is being left alone. I think probably um, a psychiatrist once told me that I really feared, um, oh, what do they call it when, you're, when you fear being left alone? But I, I, um, I'm a person that loves people so much, and I love being part of a, of a group. What makes you cry now? Happiness. I literally cry from being so happy. Why do you think that is? You know, um, it makes an awful big difference, and everything doesn't seem so... Oh, uh, what's the word I want to use? Everything is not so uh, forced. And, you're, and I, well, I'm living a much more relaxed life now. I'm and the couple spends most of that relaxed life at Tammy's home near Palm Springs, a posh area that's home to other notable names, Roe Golfs and Tammy Bowles. Did you find it difficult to be accepted here? Were people kind of no. pulled back? No, not at all. In fact, it was on the contrary. The only thing I had to start doing when I moved here is wearing a lot of white and gold. <laughs> Why white and gold? And all of the fancy ladies dress that way, you know. And, and I watched how they dress, so I just copied them. And that segues to one of Tammy's favorite pastimes. One of them is shopping. Yes. And you said shopping is therapy. It is therapy. I always say it's cheaper than a psychiatrist. <laughs> but do you buy? You know, I don't always buy. You don't have to buy to shop. You walk and you look and you dream and you think and you create. <laughs> shoes. I hear you have this love for oh, shoes. I love shoes. Because I think shoes make or break an outfit. I really do. I think if you don't have the right shoes, 
you have, you, no matter your whole, you have good shoes. I like your shoes. My shoes are good. Yours are <laughs> kind of gold. Great. Mine are kind of silver. See, I'm keeping up the film, silver thing here. You're keeping up the gold. Very good. Okay. Makeup. Makeup. I love it. 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 <laughs> Do you ever, I should ask Ro this, has he ever seen you without makeup? Oh, many times. Oh, yes. In fact, uh, Ro and I both dress in the same bathroom. You know, we have, we have two sinks and we both dress in the same bathroom, so he sees it all. Oh, he does. He sees it all. And, um, and yes, he does. I was a little nervous about it at first, but he doesn't see, he's, you know, he seems to love me either way. So, but the wonderful thing is I have permanent makeup. I just had my eyebrows done permanently. Don't they, they look yes. pretty neat, don't they? And, uh, and so my eyebrows, it used to, you know, when I laid on a pillow at night, they would all rub off and off. I hated that, you know, get up and you got a piece of an eyebrow here, a little hunk of eyebrow here from plucking it all those years when the big thing was, was thin, you know. And so I finally got up the courage it took to go get some uh, permanent eyebrows on, and that's the best thing I think I've ever done for myself. <laughs> and uh, I have, also have permanent lip liner and, I, and permanent eyeliner, and so, so really I don't have to have any makeup on, and it still looks nice. When writer F. Scott Fitzgerald said there's no second chance in life, he didn't know Tammy Faye. She's a grandmother now, twice by daughter Tammy Sue, who lives in North Carolina. Tammy Faye says son Jamie still is adjusting to her remarriage. Because of that, we agreed not to reveal the location of the high school he attends in Georgia. Tammy and Roe plan to limit the time she spends on her television show so they can share more time together. But if there's a way to make her new career fly, I have a feeling that somehow she'll make it. If there's any one thing you want to change about yourself, what would it be? Probably my, uh, oh, I got so much energy, and sometimes I wish I could be more relaxed. Yeah, I see you sitting there just so relaxed, and all I'm up like this, and I'm doing this. <laughs> but that's you. Why would you want well, to change that? Well, I don't that? know. Sometimes I look at myself on TV, and I say, chill out, girl, chill out. <laughs> I don't think Tammy Faye knows how to chill out. By the way, the new Tammy Faye show started its weekly run today on KLTJ TV in Houston. And she offers some of that you can make it philosophy by phone. Just dial 1 900 228 TAMMY. $2.99 a minute.